Well, Rob, I assume Robert, short for Robert, <laughs> many of us, myself included, we go by a nickname or perhaps a middle name. Usually it's not a problem, but when Norman David Cooper of Doswell started feeling faint and went to the emergency room, his middle name became a sticking point for a third party billing company. My opening line is this is insanity. That's David Cooper showing the problem solvers six months worth of email correspondence during which he was told his government ID was not sufficient proof that Norman David Cooper was the same person. Now with help from his insurance, he went back and forth with that billing company, all while those invoices kept coming and kept demanding that he pay up. Frightened? No. Angry? Yes. Yeah, so that's when I said, you know, if we have to go to court, we'll go to court. Yeah, uh, an expense to us, but I know we were in the right. Now, we followed up with Dave Cooper's insurance company, Kaiser Permanente, and we are happy to report he will not need to go to court to clear that $7,500 bill. Their representatives tell us they have sorted the problem, and David is only responsible for his emergency room copay, which he paid when he got there. Meanwhile, the emergency room at Bon Secours sent us this statement, quote, while this billing disparity represented an isolated incident, Bon Secours has financial counselors and patient advocacy representatives available to help patients understand their hospital billing before any scheduled services and after they're billed for the procedures. We encourage patients to ask detailed financial questions, particularly before scheduled services. Now, if you've received a medical bill that you weren't expecting, get in touch with the problem solvers at WTVR.com slash your bill. We have already assisted viewers in clearing $12,500 in medical bills.